Hey, this is Jody with WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. Today we're burning a little 7018, some 332 second 7018, and I'm, I'm, I'm using some Lincoln Excalibur 7018s because I've heard that the slag peels right off a lot better than, than other rods, so I'm gonna give it a go. I bought some Hobart just to uh, have something to compare it to. Both of them fresh, sealed up, right out of the box. I'm holding outside corner joints today in quarter inch flat bar and I'm just gonna lay them down flat. I usually use this little pinky to thumb collapse technique to prop and steady up with. It's uh, comfortable and it works pretty well for me. And I usually, when I'm welding flat like this, a lot of times I'll bend the rod a little bit backwards in the stinger like that. Just it helps me keep the right rod angle. I'm using a pretty close arc length here. This is the Hobart rod first. 332nd, 7018, 95 amps, electrode positive. Nothing wrong with that. I'm speeding things up here just so you can watch the uh, pinky thumb collapse movement there. I'm making little small little circles and it's exaggerated here with it going faster. But you can notice I'm just in my mind's eye, I'm making little small little movements. That just kind of helps me progress at an even rate. You can also just drag the rod dead evenly, but this works better for me. So I'm just going to tap that off a little bit. That was the Hobart rod. Again, I'll run the rest of it with the Lincoln Excalibur. And we'll see that in just a sec. I always try to keep my arc strikes in the area that I'm going to weld back over top of. And you notice a little difference in, the, uh, in how to distinguish the puddle. That's a little bit more distinct line around the puddle with the uh, with this Lincoln Excalibur rod. Again, I always tell people, you know, some of the best advice in stick welding is turn the machine up hot enough that when you keep a close, close arc, it won't stick, and then keep a close arc. And that's about where your heat wants to be. That's that's a rule of thumb. It's not true in every case, but that's a good some good advice for stick welding, for most stick welding. All right, you'll notice already a little difference in the color of the slag, and guess what? One of them, the slag, is not exactly peeling up, and the other, the slag, is trying to peel up right behind me, so there is a difference there. I like that. I like the way it ran. I like the way the slag came off. Now, the Hobart rod, nothing wrong with it. It doesn't take a whole lot to get it off. I'm just a few little taps with a with a file there, and boom, it all comes off too. And the overall result is largely the same as far as the appearance of the weld. It'd be hard to tell them apart if, if I didn't tell you which one would which. That last little bit there is the Lincoln. I ran a couple more joints just to make sure. The one on the left is the Hobart. The one on the right is the Lincoln. So... You know, there's not that much difference in the outcome, just that the slag seems to come off a little bit easier with that Lincoln Excalibur. All right, well, thanks very much for watching. Visit WeldingTipsAndTricks.com.